It's very challenging for the students. As you can imagine, doing high school in a different language is pretty tough. But these folks are brave. This certificate means that they have tested out of ESL. And so they reach that level of now they can go into the classroom and be successful. And uh, they did it, uh, four of these that we had this year did it in three years, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. I've taken five years of French and I'm still not where uh, these students are after three years. So it's pretty amazing what they've gotten accomplished. So we left, we left Brazil my freshman year, came here, started learning English. It was really hard in the beginning because like, I really didn't know how to say words. So I was really upset on the beginning. First, when I got here, I was also like, I didn't want to stay one day here. It was awful. Um, so I'm from Japan and I born in Japan. So when I come here, I didn't speak any English, so I didn't know what to do. In the first day, it was off. We had class outside, we got lost outside. And we're like, how, how are we gonna get in? And we're like, knocking the door, we're scared. Yeah, with Henry and Kyle, they're both really open to me, knowing them more as people. And so they let me into their lives just a little bit so I could help them um, address some of the frustrations that they were having at school. Ms. Petroni helped me so much. I'm, she's like my best teacher. I can't like say how much I'm thankful for her. And like if I had trouble, she like see how I was upset or something and she always come up to me and see if I needed help or something. Ms. Petroni helps a lot in class. Once I start going to school and actually like talking with people, I was like, no, nah, I'm so glad that my parents brought me here. My students have been really fortunate uh, to be in this school, I think, because um, they're just nice kids. They, they reach out to them, they help them when they see they are struggling with things. Um, they're just open to having conversations with those students, and it makes a big difference. I have so many friends in Nolensville. Um, my friends help me a lot in class. We try to talk to people, and people try to talk to us. So I guess like we start feeling more comfortable, and we start making friends, and we go to football games, and we like we love it football games, and principally like Nolensville. I guess like it gives me a big hand, like all the teachers and my friends like just helping me out, and like I can't say a word, and they're like oh here Henry, say that, like repeat that, try that. My parents are from um, Kurdistan, which is like North Iraq. They didn't know English when they came here, and then they just they learned from me because I used to always speak English in the house. So they just like speak in a mix of the two languages. Another extension of this job is when someone like Araz is at home teaching his parents, his brothers or sisters or cousins or whatever, the language. And so it, it keeps paying dividends, learning the language and making life maybe a little bit simpler for I don't want to stay in a place that are going to feel comfortable. I want to stay in a place that are not going to feel comfortable. So I meet people and get like to know more like other places, not just one place. I have to feel uncomfortable sometimes to get the stuff I want. I have a sign in my room that says, I'm bilingual, what's your superpower? Because it truly is a super hero type act they juggle every day. Try, either translating in their mind their language to ours and back and forth all day long and doing it with a smile on their face and um, just working hard through all their challenges. I've been teaching for 24 years now, and uh, it's everything. It's, it's everything you want as a teacher to see your students happy and um, going after their success and, and um, achieving all that they want to. And just being a small part of that is wonderful. I think they're super brave people.